As we head full blast into the holiday season, Black Friday shopping starts right after the Thanksgiving meal is over. But the biggest day for our biggest local employer is coming on Cyber Monday next week. That's when FedEx expects to set a new record, moving more than 22 million shipments around the world. Tonight on Behind Closed Doors, I'm going to take you into the nerve center that keeps everything moving, an area off limits to almost everyone. Hundreds of airplanes, millions of packages, all going different directions, all managed from this room near Memphis International Airport. Well, welcome to Global Operations Control. We are the command and control entity for FedEx Express. Dave Lusk is the senior manager of the FedEx Global Operations Center. We manage the entire global operations seven days a week, 24 hours a day, uh, 365 days a year. This is the place where the FedEx heart beats. What are we looking at? Well, we call this, uh, kind of affectionately, we call it the war board. The technical term is the asset tracker. Those assets include 650 aircraft taking off and landing at hundreds of airports around the world. 1,200 FedEx flights come into the global super hub in Memphis every week. I look at this and I see something that is makes no <laughs> sense to me, but I'm sure you guys can look at it and go, Ah, I understand exactly where we are in the world at this moment. Well, it's a, it's a very good uh, kind of a, a, a dashboard of what we have occurring at the, at the exact moment and what's projected to occur in the future. Each block on this board represents an aircraft and a plan. It's a long day for work. That's my alarm telling me I have to send the weather out to them. I'm an aircraft dispatcher. Click the button send and the message goes straight to the airplane. Ed Smith is managing flights across the Atlantic, providing information, weather, and whatever the crew needs to know. One going to Paris, one going to Cologne, one to Frankfurt. Dispatchers have the pilots back. A good day is when the phone doesn't ring and they don't send me a message saying, I've got a problem. We have the ability to go out and ping the aircraft to tell exactly how much fuel it has anywhere along the route of flight. Can you tell what the pilots ate for dinner? Well, we have the phone number of the catering department. <laughs> <laughs> this room is also where FedEx watches the world for trouble. Mainstream media is normally the first indication. And the biggest trouble is usually the weather. We're looking at high impact weather events around the country, whether it's a typhoon in the Western Pacific, a snowstorm in Europe, or maybe a severe weather outbreak in the Central Plain. FedEx meteorologists not only have to get it right for Memphis, but for Kuala Lumpur, too. There's uh, a, a storm over your Pacific tracks. Going and on. keep an eye on volcanoes. There happens to be one right here in the southern tip of Japan. Volcanic ash, very hazardous to aviation. Cause That's not good. Cause the engine to stop. Exactly. FedEx's global operation control is where they may have to manage anything. We stay up late at night thinking about what possibly could happen. The GOC is so critical to FedEx that in case of a disaster, the company has a full backup of the operation at an undisclosed location. The team fires that up and reports there once a month to make sure that all systems are good to go at that location as well. And if there's some place you'd like for us to go behind closed doors, just let me know. Leave suggestions on our Facebook page at Local Memphis, or you can send me an email at doors at localmemphis.com, and I'll try to open some of them up for you.